is good everybody welcome back to another my am toys video today we have wwe action figure sur surgery i don't know what the hell i was doing action figure surgery episode number 14 and yes we did have an episode like three or four days ago but i figured i'm about to do some swappages might as well make a video out of it and get it up to you guys because you guys really like this series you like to learn new stuff about some switches and maybe you'll be inspired by a fix up we do here today and you'll want to do it with your own WWE action figures so why not go ahead and hit it you could uh, you guys can see we do have uh, quite a bit of AJ and we got a quite a bit of the man Seth Rollins and what we're going to be doing today we have a few things that I want to do I was inspired by who was it let me go ahead and look up who it was real quick because I want to give him some credit his name is fatality underscore customs huge shout out to you bro because we're going to be doing one of your fix ups here today and we'll get into more of that later on as we get into it but uh starting off with what we're gonna do i guess we can start with seth rollins you guys can see my uh my elite 64 seth rollins this is one of my two i think i have two of these uh one of them is headless you can see he doesn't know what he's doing here he's headless he's just walking around looking like a freaking moron so uh we're gonna actually give him a head scan today and he will no longer be headless we'll take this basic back here that i got for christmas and the reason i got this for christmas is to switch it onto this elite 64 body that way it's not running around headless so that's what we're gonna be doing however i want you guys to take a zoom in shot of this head scan because he clearly has blue eyes and i guess that's because did the battle pack is it the wrestlemania battle pack head scan because look he has blue eyes that's clearly not accurate seth rollins has brown eyes so i guess what they uh they get this they must have given this the same head scan that they gave the wrestlemania 35 wrestlemania 34 miz and seth rollins battle pack head scan so that's kind of unfortunate it, it really does bother me even though it's not that big of a deal it does it's going to linger in my head even though we're going to do the swap anyway it's it's going to be on my mind so that's kind of unfortunate however uh, I'd rather it be blue-eyed than no head, you know what I'm saying? So let's go ahead and get into the next fix-up. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this AJ Styles, the one that's on the stretcher. You guys can see he has no knee pads on there. And uh, we're not just going to do regular black. We're going to do something different. You see this one already has the regular black, so I figured why not go ahead and make this one kind of creative here. And um, Fatality Customs, that's the guy who inspired me to do this switch that we're going to do. I'm going to take my Kurt Angle right here, and we're going to take his right knee pad, and we're going to switch it onto AJ right here so that his blue leg and blue glove uh, arm will have a uh, open blue knee pad on the right side. And then we're going to take Ricketh Flair back here take his red open knee pad from his left side and put it over here on the red leg so that he will have a blue knee pad and a red knee pad. They'll both be open because you know AJ Styles wears the open knee pads and uh, my boy Fatality Customs, he uh, I'll pop up his fix up on the screen. He used the ones that are like uh, this Rybacks back here. You guys can see that this Rybacks are the ones that he used. I'm pretty sure. Or it's the same style. It's not the exact ones that he used, I'm pretty sure. But Ryback style knee pads are the ones that he used. So I'm going to be taking off these. That way Kurt Angle's not walking around with one knee pad. And Ryback will have no knee pads. So I'm going to put these over here on Kurt Angle. Because I actually value my Kurt Angle Elite Collection. And I want him to have knee pads on. So we're going to put these knee pads over here. This knee pad on AJ. The red knee pad on AJ. And then I guess we'll have one left over red and one left over blue. Speaking of which, this Ric Flair... Actually, oh my god, everybody's just dropping dead. Uh, this Ric Flair actually came from my crowd. He had a t-shirt on there. I, I took off his shirt, and uh, I guess he'll be knee padless, but it's not a big deal because he just chills in the MDT Universe crowd there, and uh, he's, getting, uh, he's getting ready for an exciting night of vindication action. So all these guys will be used here. And uh, lastly, we have this Seth Rollins uh, uh, fodder right here. This is actually, I have four total SummerSlam Elite Seth Rollins. This is one of my leftover ones. And um, I, I figured, why not switch on some lower legs? I can't find any just yet, but I'm going to find some lower legs to put on here. I don't know if it'll be in this episode, but I want to put some lower legs on here and I guess switch the head scan out with one of my other sets and make like a fantasy attire or something. Just because I'm sick of it just sitting around, I don't know what I'm going to use it for, but I figured we could make some sort of cool fantasy attire out of it. So uh, that will be later on, but I did have it here and I wanted to show you guys in the video. So it does have the Top Talents arms on there. And you can interchange these hands if you want to. So that's pretty wicked. But uh, I'm not a fan of this head scan. So let's go ahead and get into our swappages that we're going to do here today on episode 14 of WWE Action Figure Surgery. Alright guys, so I'm going to attempt. I highly doubt it'll work. But I'm going to attempt to heat up Kurt Angle's boots, Ric Flair's boots, Seth Rollins' head. 
and Ryback's boots all at the freaking same time and I highly doubt it works you know it's just I, I doubt it works because you know how our luck is here on WWE action figure surgery but we're gonna try it anyway I'm gonna get the white hair dryer going and we're gonna see if we can actually make this thing work and see if we can heal up all of this stuff all at once All right, guys, we're going to see if that's long enough. We're going to take Kurt Angle's boots right here and pop them off there. So we got the one boot off, got the second boot off. Let's go ahead and take the boots off. Ric Flair's next here, see if we can get his off. Ric Flair doesn't really matter as far as his boots go, so I guess we can go ahead and slide Kurt Angle's knee pads off. That way, you know, we get uh, the boots, or not the boots, what are you, stupid, Brad? Uh, we make sure we get all these off here, that way... Uh, and I just knocked over the arena almost, so that was that was real good. You know what, F that, we're going to go to the Seth Rollins head scan. And it did come off. I guess we can go ahead and pop this on to Seth. And uh, I guess we'll see what he looks like at the end here. You know how we do all the time. So that's on there. We'll take a look at him at the end. Uh, what else we got to do? Pop off Ryback's boots. Oh, that was really easy. I doubt it's that easy to get back on there. But uh, let's go ahead and... Pop off this frickin' knee pad. I right, got the left one. Gonna make sure that I keep those on the right side. That way, you know, I don't F it all up. So Ryback's right done. Let's see if his boots will go back on. Uh, the, the short boots are kind of tricky sometimes. It actually went back on, so that's actually surprising there. So they're that warm. I did heat them up a pretty good amount of time there. So, all right, so Ryback's right done. We'll take a look at him at the end there. Uh, let's go ahead and pop Kurt Angle's knee pads on. And again, we'll look at him at the end with Seth Rollins, so we'll put the knee pad back on there. I think this is the same color. I'm pretty sure it's the same color as the uh, ones he was already wearing, so that's a good indication there. So it won't be a big drop off. It will virtually be the same thing, except, you know, slightly different style knee pads, and his boots do go back on, so that's a good sign as well. Um, now all we have to do, if the white boot will go back on here, all we have to do after this is get the red knee pads off of Ric Flair and then pop his knee pads back on because you know we're going to have to heat up AJ anyways. So go ahead and slide off the other knee pad of Ric Flair. All right, got that one. And now we put his boots back on and he will be ready to go back into the MDT crowd. And that's probably not going to go back on there. Well, that effing sucks. So what we're going to have to do is take AJ, our one that we're going to be uh, putting the knee pads on. We're going to have to take him and as we heat up Rick's boots, we'll heat up AJ's kick pads as well. That way we can do our swappage of the knee pads on there. Alright guys, that should be long enough. Let's go ahead and put Rick's boots back on because I don't they got really uh they got really solid last time really really quickly and now my fingers are about to burn off because of his boots and oh my god that hurt, but you know what, we're fine. Uh, let's go ahead and pop his kick. You guys know how it is, the kick pads are always the hardest. I don't know what it is about the way Mattel makes these, but we did get it off. And we're gonna slide the red one on real quick. Here's the red knee pad. And it is open, you know, the, the reason we did the open is that's the, that's the kind of uh, knee pads that AJ Styles actually wears. So that's why we're going to do it this way. Uh, sliding this on here, and there you go. And then the blue one, which this blue isn't exactly the same color as the knee pad that we're going to use, but it's close enough, I do believe. And we did get the other one off, and go ahead and pop this on here, if we can get it on here. And I don't know if they make open knee pads the same exact color as as far as uh, like that navyish color blue that they use. I don't know why they use such an awkward tone of blue um, instead of you know more of a. I don't know. I don't know if AJ's color. Oh, we have them on there now, but I don't know if AJ's actual attire like this was more royal. I'll have to look that up. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put these kick pads back on. And we will be done with this pretty, pretty uh, short episode of WWE Extra Figure Surgery. If I can get this on. All right, we got it. And now we're going to take a look at everything. Since we got everything done, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at everything we did today here on WWE Action Figure Surgery Episode 14. Alright guys, so let's take a look at everything we've done here today on Episode 14 of WWE Action Figure Surgery. Starting out with our basic here. Yeah, pretty much headless. Nothing to see here. Our Seth Rollins Elite Fodder, obviously just the same, but over here with Ryback, 
Um, nothing we did here. We just took off his knee pads, and now he doesn't have knee pads. I think it kind of works for right back. If anybody can rock the no knee pad look, I think that, you know, like Lars Sullivan and guys of that nature, I think that Ryback looks okay here without knee pads. Um, Kurt Angle, I think that switching those knee pads wasn't a big deal. I think that if anybody could switch their knee pads to this style, I think it works better for Kurt Angle. I think that it covers up fine, and the color is pretty much relatively the same. If we compare it here with this other knee pad, you can pretty much see that it's the exact same color. So I guess Kurt Angle did fare well in, uh, you know, switching out those knee pads. Not a big deal there. It's not going to bother me. Um, I'm trying to do it in level of importance here. Uh, next up, we have Ric Flair. I think that Ric Flair could have went before Kurt Angle, but I just now saw him. But he can go back in the crowd. I think he was holding a sign, so I'm going to go ahead and, you know, fix his hand up, put him back in the crowd, and have him uh, ready to go for Vindication episode number 11 so we can forge on to the MDT Royal Rumble. So we have him. Next up, we have Seth. And while the blue eyes is bothersome, it's not that big of a deal. Like I said, you know, I'd rather him have a head and the wrong eye color, or I could go in there and paint it. I mean, you know, we may lose some of that effect, but I could go in there with maybe a toothpick and get some brown or dark brown, dab it in there and possibly fix it, but uh, I don't know if I'll do that. Uh, it's just uh, painting eyes is an absolute headache. Uh, comment down below if you've ever painted eyes and absolutely effed it up. So we have that, and now we're down to our final switches. Well, switch, because uh, AJ Styles is finished here, and you guys can see the look we we're going for. Again, huge shout-out to Fatality Customs for the sweet idea on the fix-up. I think that it turned out all right. Again, I probably wouldn't have done this if I didn't have an extra Elite 61, but since I had the extra, why not go ahead and switch it and um, make a cooler fix-up. You guys can see the blue isn't totally accurate, but from the front, it's not as big of a deal. Um, you can see the black over here is more accurate. This is what he normally would wear and then uh, over here is just sort of a fantasy deal that I just decided to fix up but I'm happy with it I think the red looks good the blue looks good and I, I'm satisfied again maybe it looked cooler if the camo was over here but I don't know since there's no blue in this I'm just going to keep it like it is and we do have the red on the elbow pad over here uh, probably need to paint that vest up maybe if it had some stripes or maybe an American flag or something or maybe even the P1 having the American flag look to it would look better but that is pretty much it for today's episode of WWE Action Figure Surgery, guys. Again, oh, I just noticed I cut his uh, elbow pad open. That's a pretty swifty idea. I didn't even know I did that, but... Uh, that pretty much does it for episode 14 of WWE Action Figure Surgery, guys. Again, not too big of switches here today. You know, it wasn't um, a very productive episode, but I hope you guys got a, a kick out of that custom or that fix-up idea. Maybe the next episode, episode 15, will be even bigger and better. But that does it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. I can't get Kurt Angle's gold medals on his skull. Uh... Well, there you go. Thank you guys for watching, and see you guys in the next video.